Hi everyone and welcome to Storytime Online. My name is Azani and today we will be reading The Magic Boat, written by Kit Pearson and Catherine Ferris and illustrated by Gabrielle Grimard. And this is with the permission of Access Copyright on the behalf of the publisher. And it's a nice summer story because it's starting to get pretty warm outside and I'm really happy about that. So here are two main characters. We have Nona and we have Ellie here. And every summer morning, Ellie and Nona went to the beach. Ellie built castles and decorated them with shells and pebbles. She stood on the shore and let the cold waves wash over her toes. She jumped on kelp bulbs to make them pop. Why don't you play with other children? Nana asked Ellie. But Ellie was too shy to talk to them. One morning, Ellie wandered along the beach collecting pebbles. An older girl was sitting on a log. She watched Ellie for a few seconds. Hmm. Want to see my boat? She asked. Ellie followed the girl to an old blue boat that was half buried in the sand. The girl climbed into the boat and told Ellie to sit behind her. The boat did not see magic at all. Its paint was peeling and the seat under Ellie was rough and splintery. Ellie looked across the beach at Nana and Nana waved. She seemed very far away. Let's go to the sea, said the girl. Ellie clutched the sides of the boat and closed her eyes. When she opened them, there were on water. The old boat had turned into a sleek dingy with orange sails. Ellie controlled the rudder while the boat tacked this way and that. Oh, that's a pretty good looking boat. There. They skim past islands studded with sleepy seals. They raced a boy in another boat. In a distance, a pot of orcas sliced through the waves, and nearby, a heron was trying to swallow a very large fish. And when they laughed, the heron croaked <coughs> and flew into the air. Let's fly, said the girl. The boat turned into a balloon, and up, up they rose with the gull. A red-headed vulture wobbled above them, searching for carrion. They looked up upon an eagle's nest. A tiny ladybug zipped by. A raven flew so close they could hear the whoop of its wings. Then it turned a somersault in the air. A kingfisher let out a rattling cry and plunged into the water. I think they have a lot of imagination. Ellie, called a faraway voice. The balloon turned back into an old blue boat. It's time for your snacks, called Nana. Bring your friend. Ellie and the girl sat on the blanket, eating Nanaimo bars and drinking juice. What's your name? asked Nana. Piper, said the girl. This is Ellie, said Nana. The next morning, Ellie rushed to the boat. Piper was sitting in it, waiting for her. Today, can we go under the sea? asked Ellie. The boat became a submarine. Down, down it sank into the dark ocean depths. Above them shimmered a tight herring ball. They followed a glowing jellyfish carried by the current. And a giant octopus spread out its legs as it landed on the seabed. Schools of perch darted through a forest of sponges. A fat otter zoomed up to the surface, its mouth full of crab. Far away, a boy called Piper. 
At once, Ellie and Piper were back on the beach, sitting in the old blue boat. It's time to go, called the boy. That's my brother, said Piper. Will I see you tomorrow? asked Ellie. Piper shook her head. Tomorrow we're going back to the city. Uh -huh. The next morning, Ellie sat in the old blue boat all by herself. She tried to sail out to sea. She tried to fly in the air. She tried to sink under the water, but nothing happened. Ellie got out of the boat. She sat beside Nana for a long time, watching a boy dig a hole. There's nothing to do, she complained. For a while, Nana helped Ellie build a castle. But then she went back to her book. Why don't you play with that boy? She asked. Ellie shook her head. She wrapped her towel around her and sat with her back to Nana, staring at the empty boat. The boy was there again the next day and Ellie looked at him. She looked at the boat. Hi, she said. My name is Ellie. What's yours? Sasha, said the boy shyly. Ellie smiled at Sasha. Want to see my boat? And look, I really think he did like seeing the boat. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Storytime Online. I wish you the most wonderful day today, everyone. Bye, see you soon.